Good morning, people, from one video to another. And we are again, yet again, going into the lesson because I recorded this before and I deleted it. You know, sometimes <laughs> the universe has other plans and we just have to go with it. Yes, I will link the other video I did up here. Ooh, soul shifting. Ooh, I might actually need to film two episodes today. Also because it's just very nice to sit here, enjoying the sun, listening to the birds and nature and be together with you guys. Today is all about feeling life force. We, we are feeling life force sitting outside. Maybe that's why I need to film it again. Film it today again. Okay, life force runs through your veins. Yes, it passes through every major organ of your body. It flows through the animals and the plants, which makes sense. You know, I'm sitting, you know, around trees. So the life force is all around us. It is here forever and ever. It moves through everything that is. It is powerful, magical and real. Yes, it is. It vibrates, you can feel it. I actually will link a binial. I can't remember what you call that, but it's a song on YouTube or it's, a, it's the melodies that actually makes you vibrate and when you hear it you are going to experience that you feel that the negative or the smoke is vibrating out of you so do yourself the favor to listen to it but listen listen to it with headphones because otherwise you know it doesn't work when you listen to like the the is it binaural sounds i can't remember what you call it but you always have to listen to it with headphones Yes, it is your connection to love, to wisdom, to the angels, to healing and to the universe. Life force is yours. Yes, you deserve to know it. Mm -hmm. You do. You sometimes need some imagination to do that, but it's there and you can tap into the beat and wave running through you. Mm -hmm. If you have ever seen the movie Avatar, I still want to see that movie. Last time I tried to film this, I spoke about that too. That I really feel that this is true. Like the life force that they show us in that uh, movie. I've, from what I remember, it's this um, purple blue energy, right? When they are in the forest, like what did like the energy from nature from the trees. Yeah, in our reality, we can, uh, you know, accept or receive this life force just with being outside, with enjoying the sun, with hugging trees, with sitting on the ground like I do, uh, touching the earth or uh, planting, you know, put your hands in the ground. I hope when the weather gets better that I can, you know, like plant stuff in this garden and film that for you guys, because that is also you know, feeling life force. You're connecting your energy with the energy of nature or the air or the sun or the wind. So if you haven't seen the movie Avatar, you need to, yes. You will remember that there is a supple life force that runs through all the avatars. <laughs> The plants, the animals, and the land, all of this energy is connected to the force of being that they call Eva. I hope I pronounced that right. This is so similar to what clairvoyancy and to the level of connectivity we can reach when we move into our meditation practice. I feel there's a reason why I needed to mention the 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 magical sounds. I don't, don't even know what to call it. Again, you have to see 
that video on YouTube because or listen to it because it's magical. It does something to you. There are a few things that have really helped me develop my awareness of life force. One of them is being aware of my breath. Yes. I realize why the video didn't um yeah became what it needed to become because i spoke about that in the other video didn't i yeah that for some reason i was short breath short i was out of breath all the time so i stumbled over my words a lot and i think i needed to realize or have that experience to actually realize the words in this book yeah that it can help you to slow down and realize your breath <sighs> your breath in yoga yes it's also funny because Vanessa that I had the session with I will link the video where I spoke about it up here if I haven't already linked it linked it she actually mentioned that I a good thing for me was or would be to do yoga because it's you know me connecting with nature and it's me um I think it was connected with was it my Ma, my Mars in Capricorn that you know I need to have a routine with workout but it it shouldn't be workout like going out and running because you know I'm too lazy for that so it needs to be a a workout routine like yoga where I can you know do it on my time <laughs> it's not too hard for me <laughs> it's funny you know it's so funny that I I understand this lesson in a new way now the breath represents prana or life force I will link video a video videos up here where I speak about Prana. I decided to become conscious of my breath, especially while meditating, doing angel work and on my yoga mat. Now I am aware that as I draw in air, I am drawing in the prana or life force that surrounds me. I have also allowed myself to imagine that this life force is moving through all of the people I meet. And I ask myself questions while I'm gazing at my cat, for instance. I will say things like, if the life force of Ralph, Ralph were to be seen by the physical eye right now, what would it look like? Question mark. I then picture in my mind and allow my eyes to develop this awareness that's interesting hmm yeah i wonder what the energy of moon moon would be i think moon moon has a very sparkly purple pink energy around her I believe that when used correctly, imagination can be the doorway to develop spiritual awareness. True. So today, try to realize that everyone and everything you see today has life force moving through it. If you find it difficult to visualize or see, don't worry because you can feel it. For every living person and every living animal or plant you see today, Say to yourself, there is life force running through this person, animal, plant, and I'm willing to see and feel it. The more you affirm this, the more you are able to connect to this natural phenomenon that surrounds you. I like that a lot. How magical is that? And as we always do, let's take a card with this life force energy so maybe it's a hint or it's just a little message for you what is the message a card for the life force lesson wow power yeah look at the thunder there's life force and everything let's see what the card has to say with that 
Mountain Thunder. Wow. This is your time. This is the time to claim your power and step into your potential. <laughs> yeah. With this powerful life force energy. This doesn't nece necessarily mean that you will be without fear. You might feel uncertain, but do it anyway. Show courage, let the world hear your voice. Take a stand, stand up for yourself and for others. Share your passion, teach from your heart. Write and your words will have great meaning. Hold your body as if you are incredible, valiant, valiant, noble and brave. After all, you are. I like that so much. Embrace this power you have inside of you. I feel this is the lesson for today, people. I will jump ahead and film the next lesson because, as I said, it sounds very amazing. Soul shining. So that is the lesson you guys will see tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for being a part of this magic. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Share your words and visions and feelings with me in the comments for this topic that we spoke about today explain what is life force for you how do you see life force yeah but thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video bye